Dweebcast. Hey guys, welcome back to Dweebcast. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Today we're talking about simulation games. Now, I'm a flight simmer myself, and I admit it, we sim fans are a special bunch. It takes a certain person to give up headshots in order to carry out some well thought out procedures. Mm, procedures, so satisfying. But due to some weird demand in Germany for sim games, there are a ton now, everything that you can imagine, and some that you probably can't. So here they are in no particular order, five sim games that are like, what the f <laughs> Forklift Simulator. If the excitement of everyday life is just too much for you to handle, I get it, it is for me too, strap on into Forklift Simulator. Make the rounds of a desolate shipyard or a lorry mill or whatever the hell that British twee sh is and move pallets and deliver packages all in your forklift. Newer versions of the game, I don't know if they're even from the same publisher, Jesus. Have you roaming around Costco and running through people? Good physics there, guys. And you gotta check out this fan video showing how epic the game actually is. Sorry. Woodcutting Simulator 2013. You ever dream of living that idyllic blue collar lifestyle of a lumberjack? No? Well, I'll let you say you did, because if you did, you're gonna be psyched about this next sim. This one's got it all, you guys. Drive to work in your affordable minivan, then actually go to work in any manner of industrial vehicles. Oh, and for real though, integrated economics systems. Them economics are so integrated, son. Best part though, manual labor. You think that tree's gonna cut down itself? Hell nah. Get to work. And look at that, tree falling in a forest, and nobody's around. What do you hear? What do you hear? That's right, you hear a sound. Now we know. Vacuum Simulator. As a child, I dreamed of a day that robots would vacuum for me, and that day is pretty much here. But here's an exercise in regressive ironic futility. Yep, it's a vacuum sim, where you play as an autonomous robot, mind you, and suck up scraps of paper and stuff from your bedroom. One of the most psychologically incredible things about this game is that a Roomba is a robot designed to take human control out of sweeping, but we're putting it back. That's a control issue. We can't deal with losing control. We want to feel the way the robot feels. Oh my God! Street sweeping simulator. You have to use that, it's the only one I did. One of the most annoying things about living in a big city, especially LA, is street sweeping. But here's a sim that flips the script and makes you, the player, climb behind the wheel of that Zamboni looking thing and suffer through actually having to sweep the street yourself. Check out this action. Never thought I'd feel bad for the guy giving me a $68 parking ticket. You know what, I still don't. Dual love. I leave it to Japan to give us the most unique sim on the list. Use that word loosely. Dual love for the DS lets you play as a high school boxing club groupie. She follows the underage bros around. The point is to form a relationship with one of them. But you got these mini games that occur in the locker room where you peek at them in the showers and you know, talk to them as they take their clothes off. And then of course, naturally wipe the sweat off their bodies. And rub their backs. Okay, whatever, can we just move on? And how are you gonna play any of these crazy sims without a good keyboard? That's a rhetorical question. I actually don't know the answer, but thanks to our friends at Logitech, we got you covered. We're giving away one of these, a Logitech G710 gaming keyboard. You got programmable keys, all mechanical and whisper quiet, so they're smooth to the touch and easy on the ears like an Eagles record, all with adjustable dual zone backlighting. So here is the deal, just tweet us at Dweebcast with your favorite sim, we'll pick a lucky winner on Friday's show, and this thing is yours. That's it for us today, I'm Andy Reesmeyer, do us a solid subscribe to our YouTube channel, huh? We'll see you later. Dweebcast. Instead of the Roomba on the, it could do like a flash, like that day's pretty much here, we flash, but like a cardboard robot like using a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Wish we had that, yeah, just me, me.